our opinion, she did not commit a crime. Don't punish women for doing the same thing a man can do in Dubai. It's not fair and it's not right. See what I'm talking about? Um, I know she's going through a situation, but the statement he made right there is the problem. You go into another country and think you're about to change their laws. Yo, that's crazy for you to say something like that. Well, the crime she's charged with may surprise you, and Dubai is increasingly becoming a vacation spot for a number of Houston women. One who's there right now, according to her social media page, uh, is trying to get back to the Bayou City, but according to her mom, her passport has been confiscated because she was charged with screaming in public. Yeah. Time and time again, you see women in the United States of America think they can talk to men crazy, um, follow behind them, road rage, and think they're tough and all of that. You do that in another country, man, especially women think men are holding them down in the United States and patriarch, patriarch, but you're steady trying to vacation in true patriarchal countries where women are literally like third and fourth and fifth citizens. So, y'all crack me up, y'all trying to vacation in it, but you complain about what's happening in America. Yeah, you just armchair warriors, armchair complainers. So, y'all go into these countries, not understanding the laws, think you could do the same thing that you've gotten away with in America your entire life. Just because somebody, oh, yeah, I'm going to get him told, you ain't going to talk to me any kind of way. You do that overseas, you're done. Especially for women in the Islamic, come on, bro. So, y'all got to understand that, so... It, it is what it is. It, all, it also could result in prison time. So it's very scary. The trip turned terrifying for Tierra Young Allen when her mom says she was a passenger in a friend's rental car and they got into an accident there in Dubai. Tina Baxter says when her daughter went to the company to retrieve her ID, credit card and other items left in the rental, Baxter says it did not go well. She found out that she could only receive those items if she paid an undisclosed amount of money. Um, she dealt with a very ag aggressive individual, a young man there who was screaming at her. Baxter says her 29-year-old daughter ultimately yelled back at the rental car agent, she says resulting in her being charged for screaming there in Dubai. And so she is in jail for one reason and one reason alone. She raised her voice. In that country, a female is not even allowed to raise her voice. If she raises her voice, it's punishable by jail time. It's been very emotional. There are some days I stay up all night crying. They have a strict law system that is really based on theocracy. This website warns, quote, laws and customs are very different, so be aware of your actions to ensure they don't offend while in United Arab Emirates. Now, after Baxter says her daughter was charged with screaming in Dubai, her passport has been taken, and the American social media influencer who works as a truck driver can't leave the UAE, according to her mom. And her mom says she's been placed under a travel ban pending the outcome of the investigation. That's hilarious. The news know how to help you out and throw you under the bus at the same time. You see they keep showing her YouTube? Did y'all see that? The sassy trucker. That says it all, yo. And they doing it on purpose. <laughs> because they already know where they're coming from. They already know what they're doing. Society, the United States of America society knows. <laughs> it's very frightening. Um, the longer she's been there, the more reality has started to kick in. In our opinion, she did not commit a crime. Don't punish women for doing the same thing a man can do in Dubai. It's not fair and it's not right. Now, the 29-year-old does now have an attorney there in Dubai. And her mom says she's told that she could face jail time because there is surveillance video of her screaming. Now, we have reached out to the U.S. and the UAE embassies. Will government officials step in and give her assistance? I'm still awaiting responses. Hey, folks. This is Jeff Medici with JTT. Uh, the video you just saw is about this woman from the United States. She might be in jail because she raised her voice to another man in Dubai. So, ladies, especially your modern women who love to talk trash, talk back and all that stuff. And I'm not saying it because, you know, I try to be funny and like that. I say it because I want nothing to happen to you, ladies. If you happen to travel to places like Dubai, check your attitude at the door immediately. I mean, put aside your ego, most importantly, your pride. Because they will tell you ahead of time of the customs in their country. 
and they tell you if you raise your voice and yell at somebody in public, you will go to jail. So don't make mistake this woman did. Because now this guy try to act like he's going to change the laws in Dubai. Good luck with that. But ladies, we go to other countries. Be careful. Seriously, be careful. Peace.